Hello everyone, welcome back to Machine Learning. I am your host Neeraj. Today we will discuss the Bayesian perspective of the curve fitting problem. Before discussing the curve fitting problem, let's first define the Gaussian distribution. So the Gaussian distribution in a univariate case for a random variable x for given mean mu and variance sigma square is defined as the product of 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square and exponential of negative 1 by 2 sigma square and the difference between x and mu square. So the uni in univariate case, the Gaussian distribution looks like this. It is centered around mean mu and has a standard deviation of sigma. And formally it is written as normal uh, distribution over random variable x for given mu and uh, sigma square. We can extend this definition to the multivariate uh, Gaussian case where uh, x is no longer a scale, scalar, it's a vector. Uh, and mu is uh, the mean is also not a scalar now it's a it's a vector and similarly covariance uh, matrix uh, uh, basically represents uh, the variance in each pair of the dimensions let's look at the bivariate gaussian here so this is composed of two random variables x and y so it has this nice uh, 3d structure and when when you take projections in one of the di uh, direction it gives you nice gaussian curves so uh, by using this definition uh, we can uh, solve several problems including the curve fitting problem as we see in this uh, in this discussion and the reference for this discussion is section 1.2.5 to 1.2.6 of uh, bishop's book so let's start our discussion of the curve fitting problem by first defining the problem uh, in this problem we have uh, an input uh, x1 to xn so these are certain input values which are given to us uh, given to us for each of the given inputs we also have the available target values so we know uh, what is t1 t2 and all those these values are given to us the problem lies in predicting the new target value whenever a new uh, input is uh, presented as the input to the system to solve this problem we should make some assumptions the first assumption is about the model how uh, uh, what is the relationship between input and output variables so in this case we will uh, model that relationship as a, a polynomial so you see here that y of x w is basically a polynomial of mth order so using this model uh, the problem lies in identifying the weights of the model so to solve this in the in the Gauss, uh, uh, using the Bayesian perspective, what we will uh, assume is that the error function between the predicted value and the true value takes a Gaussian uh, distribution. So you have error eta, which is the difference between the true target value for some of the uh, inputs which uh, which are available to us minus whatever our model has predicted that belongs to a Gaussian distribution. So you can write it as this. So you know this this error is function of x and w only and the parameter of the Gaussian distribution which is beta so beta is nothing but inverse of the variance so the probability of target probability distribution over target given input weights and the parameter of the Gaussian is normally distributed so uh, this this is our assumption about the error function at each point so I, I uh, will show the illustration in the next slide but uh, as of now you can assume that the error function is Gaussian for each point so beta is nothing but inverse of the Gaussian it's known as precision parameter and it defines how peaky the distribution is if beta is uh, <clears throat> if beta is higher it means variance is less so Gaussian will be uh, more peaky than uh, other way around okay let's illustrate this through a figure so you assume that the error, uh, this uh, probability of any target variable given the input and weight matrix and the parameters of the uh, Gaussian distribution is given a, uh, is normal. So what it means is for uh, for let's say uh, an input x naught. So you have certain output and your model also gives something. So your output is t but uh, and your model gives us y. So that y the difference between t and y is Gaussian uh, it has a Gaussian distribution which is centered around this y x naught w. So your y x naught w is your polynomial curves output. So you assume that the model relating input and output is polynomial. So that's why it is centered around. Uh, so this Gaussian has mean y x naught w 
and it has variance beta now you need to estimate uh, the parameters w and the unknown variance beta uh, uh, the precision parameter beta so how should we do it uh, we can do it by constructing a likelihood function so what will be the likelihood function for this problem here you have this red curve which is the underlying curve which is unknown uh, but you are given only the blue data points so why using these model assumptions so what are the model assumptions? first the relation between input and output is uh, is that of a polynomial of order m and second one the error edge at each point is has a gaussian distribution with uh, uh, for me uh, with mean uh, y x not w and variance uh, equals to 1 by beta okay with these assumptions we construct a likelihood function now we know that error at each point has a gaussian distribution and is also and independent of the errors at other points so if you measure at error at one point it should be independent of error at any other point so this uh, by using this independent assumption uh, independence of errors for all data points we can construct a uh, likelihood function using the product rule of probability which simply states that uh, so if you have independent uh, random variables so the joint probability of independent random variables can be given as the product of the individual distributions so you simply for n points if you are given as n, uh, n points as input so your uh, uh, probability joint probability uh, so you notice the difference between the notation here here t is bold indicating that this distribution is over all the target uh, and input pairs this distribution is a univariate distribution so uh, it's important to uh, notice this difference so the joint probability of all the outputs given all the inputs and all the weights and uh, the uh, precision parameters is given as the product of individual uh, uh, the distributions of individual uh, errors at individual points so you see uh, tn is the target output for uh, nth point uh, for a nth input and, and the weight vector should remain same for all the points so that's why uh, the likelihood function can be defined as the product of the uh, individual uh, distributions of the error function so if you plug in the uh, if you plug in the gaussian uh, distribution here so you will get uh, this uh, error function so you, uh, you should uh, uh, you, you can may basically write it down and it will uh, it will come out to be this expression so now uh, maximum likelihood uh, estimation is straightforward you have the likelihood function you first convert it into uh, log likelihood function why do we convert into log likelihood function because you see this is the product of the probabilities and if you uh, multiply uh, numbers smaller than uh, between 0 and 1 it it will result in even smaller numbers let's say you have 0.1 probability and another one is 0.2 probability if you multiply these two you will come uh, the result will be 0.02 so the uh, so multiplication of uh, probabilities results in uh, smaller numbers and that leads to underflow errors so to, in order to avoid those errors we take the log of the likelihood function so that this product can be re uh, replaced by summations so if we add 0.1 and 0.2 it will give us 0.3 but multiplication will give us a smaller number so that's why we want to replace products with uh, summations so uh, we take the log and once you take the log of uh, this expression this yields a, a nice algebraic uh, expression which you can uh, differentiate to find the values of the unknown parameters so maximize log likelihood by equating derivative with respect to each unknown variable w and beta to zero so uh, if you carefully notice in this equation the unknowns are w and the precision parameter of the gaussian distribution because once you know w you can compute y using the uh, polynomial formula and tn is uh, available to you xn is also available to you and you also know the number of points which are available as input the only unknowns are the weight vector w and the precision parameter of the noise distribution beta so in order to uh, solve for the unknown parameters you take gradient with respect to the uh, unknown parameter so you take curly of this function uh, with uh, respect to weight vector so once you uh, differentiate this equation with respect to weight vector this will go to zero this will go to zero because these both terms are not uh, dependent on the weight vector only this term will remain as you can see if you equate the gradient of this term equal to zero and you minimize this so this is basically 
a minim minimizing the squared error so in nutshell what it says is that maximum likelihood estimation of the parameters of a polynomial in bayesian setting boils down to minimization of the squared error function so this can be solved straight uh, in, in a straightforward manner similarly if you take the differentiate uh, if you differentiate this expression with respect to the precision parameter beta you'll you'll arrive at this this equation these uh, i am not explicitly uh, taking the derivatives and solving these equations because this we had done in uh, previous uh, video so i'll put that link in the description so you can watch that how to take the derivatives and how to solve for exact values of uh, uh, the variance and uh, uh, mean value in maximum likelihood setting but uh, there are simple two steps first take the derivative equate that to zero and then you can compute whatever quantity you want so as you can see by using this one well, first you need to compute the weight uh, weight vector once you have computed the weight vector you can easily compute the uh, y's for all accents and you can take the uh, differences between those uh, the predicted value and the actual value and square those errors and uh, you can compute uh, the variance or beta using this this expression very easy okay so now since weights are unknown uh, parameters in in the model they we can also assume certain distribution of over weights so why do we do that because we need to complete the bayesian perspective of this uh, curve fitting problem and in that bayesian perspective all unknown quantities are random vari are treated as random variables with certain distribution so we should also know the distribution over the weights for that initially we have to assume the distribution we, here we assume that the prior distribution of the weights is gaussian is a multivariate gaussian so w uh, for m order polynomial this w has m parameter uh, m uh, dimensions and uh, alpha is the parameter of the gaussian distribution uh, variance uh, which is uh, again the precision parameter and you can write it as mm, a normal distribution over weights given mean zero and variance alpha min, uh, alpha to the power minus 1 into an identity matrix so what this says is this says that for the weight matrix the covariance uh, the covariance matrix is uh, all the entries in non diagonal entries in covariance matrix are same oh sorry no all the non diagonal entries are not same basically this is an identity matrix so it the only the diagonal entries are non zero and uh, they are equal to 1 by alpha and all non diagonal entries are zeros so you can expand this using the multivariate gaussian formula which we discussed in uh, in the first slide so that will result in in, in this equation since the mean is zero so this uh the equation uh, uh, the exponential uh, will contain the term w transpose into w okay so let's uh, apply bayes theorem on this so you want to estimate the probability distribution over the weights given inputs and target variables and some unknown parameters alpha and beta so by using bayes theorem we can write uh, this uh, left hand side as proportional to probability of target given xw beta and probability of weights given alpha because the probability distribution of, of weights only depends upon alpha it doesn't depend on any other random variable and probability distribution of targets depend upon depends upon xw and beta it doesn't depend on any quantity and x x is not a random variable we know the values of x and beta is also not a random beta and alpha are not random variables they are they are the scalar quantity so this equation is very important because this is known as the posterior distribution over the weights over the parameters of the model this is a well known uh, formula for likelihood function so probability of the data given the parameters of the model or and the input is is known as the likelihood function and this quantity is the prior distribution over the weights now uh, you see the prior distribution only depends upon alpha so if we have to estimate the distribution over the weights we need to maximize the posterior and since by using bayes theorem posterior can be written as product of the likelihood function and the prior this can be easily solved by 
maximizing the right hand side of the equation again you need to take log of the right hand side which will convert the product of probabilities into uh, summations to avoid underflow errors and then you take gradients with respect to each of the unknown parameters to solve uh, the algebraic equations to get the values of the unknown uh, parameters one more thing here this parameter alpha the precision of the uh, precision of the distribution over the weight para, uh, uh, weight matrix uh, sorry weight vector is known as the hyperparameter so because w are the parameters of the model and alpha controls the distribution of the w that's why it's known as hyperparameter all right so uh, as i mentioned if you take the uh, if you convert this uh, product of likelihood and prior into log uh, pro, uh, into summations by taking log of this uh, posterior then you will uh, this will you will end up in a simple algebraic equation and you can equate them to zero to get the map estimation which is uh, which is equivalent to minimizing this error here which is equivalent to minimizing this error here if you have carefully noticed this the maximum a posterior estimate boils down to minimizing the squared error with the regularization term where lambda is alpha by beta if you will equate this to zero obviously you, you take beta uh, out and this will go in uh, beta will go in the denominator here so this is a regularized least square estimation so maximum likelihood estimation in the Bayesian setting for curve fitting problem boils down to minimization of the least squares solving the least square problem and maximum a posterior estimation uh, is equivalent to solving the least square problem with regularization so that's a parallel between these two approaches let's uh, illustrate the polynomial curve fitting problem so you have uh, assumed that the relation between input and output is a polynomial of order m and the unknown quantities here are w w1 and so on so your predictive distribution comes out to be probability of uh, target given input given the maximum likelihood estimate of uh, the weight vector and uh, uh, the precision parameter of the noise it can be written as a gaussian distribution and by using uh, so whenever a new uh, input is given so let's say uh, x n plus 1 is given so you use that wml weight matrix to com uh, compute the uh, compute y x n plus 1 w right so that that becomes your mean so this uh, so green uh, in, in this figure green is your underlying true distribution blue are the points that are given to you and red is the curve that you have estimated so this each point on red is actually y x w so that represents the mean of the gaussian distributions of each error function and uh, and the variance so you compute the since w is uh, is also a random fun, uh, is is also a random variable so if you change the value of w you uh, sample another uh, set of uh, weights that are one standard deviation away from the mean of the uh, distribution over the weights so you get this uh, red band so in nutshell instead of a single estimate as we had done in the deterministic case of least squares estimation in Bayesian perspective you estimate the mean curve and uh, the curves uh, at certain variance from them and that is governed by the Gaussian uh, assumption over the noise distribution and weight distribution so that's all for today in in next uh, video ruchika will discuss uh, about the code for bayesian cur curve fitting and following that we will discuss uh, cross validation and curse of dimensionality thank you stay tuned to the channel hit the subscribe button and you can press the bell icon and like the video thank you so much